Yeah, man, Brona snubbed him. Brona snubbed him. You think Brona's a bit nervous? I think he's kind of nervous. I'm like, he know that boy. Gonna, I think because because Sean don't look like he drawn or Sean don't look weak to me. He looks small though. Like, like Brona look bigger than him, man. Brona look bigger. <laughs> Brona look bigger. Yeah, yeah, come fight, come fight night. We see, come fight night. Like Sean, the come fight night. You're gonna. I'm like Chris. What's the weight they can't come in at? So Brona can't come in ten pounds um heavier. Yeah, Brona, he, she, she, this suit Sean. That's why it's all been done in this way. Like people understand, like why, why are you doing a catch weight? I think it's all been done to suit um the A side, which is Brona. It's still to suit Brona. Uh, Brona coming light. Oh, Brona, you're right. Because Sean Porter's gonna, he can blow up to that much, man. So I yeah. think it's yeah. He can't Come. blow up to over ten pounds mm-hmm. of the one forty. He can come in like ten pound one. He can come in you, one. This is why I said Broner. That's why I said if Broner dedicated himself, Broner could probably still make lightweight. This is what I was trying to say to people. See, he's only because he can't be bothered. Yeah, he, he's, but you know, I'm trying to tell you, you can like. I think it's catch weight. No, but you see, you see what I'm going to say. They, they, they don't understand that Sean used to fought at one forty for years, man. You know what I mean? He fought at 140 for a long time, so he can make that weight. But whether he's never at 140, we need to go check his career at 140. He wasn't really necessarily knocking people out. And they know that as well. But see, Brett, they know that. Go ahead. You see, Broner should have cleared out, beat up the Figueroa, the Burns is at the super fight with um, Crawford. And now he should be fighting Madonna. This is when he should be fighting him now. He was, it was too early, isn't it? Like, in hindsight. He should have yeah, cleared it. Yeah, he yeah. ate himself out of the division. He ate like, himself out of the division. He's yeah. too, it's, that's to do with his lack of respect for the game and just taking his time and not making a fool of himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, he, but to be honest with you, his lack of professionalism is who he is. He's yeah. being true to who he is. You see the video of him like dancing in the swimming pool. I know you ain't seen it, but he's dancing in the swimming pool, this girl with on big ass, putting his head in her yeah, ass. Yeah, I see and, that. I see the tried. picture, yeah. No, not the video, the video. I didn't dry see the hump- video, I see the still picture. No, 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 I know, that's what I'm saying. I know you haven't seen it, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you see him dry humping her in the pool. And, um, that was fun, that, but that's just Broner, man. Broner, better than a dude, isn't it? Better than dry humping the dude. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but you, know, they, you know the thing what people are saying, though? He's supposed to be engaged, man, but that's just Broner, man. Yeah. Like, you know what you're getting if you're marrying Broner. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but, you know, that's it. You know, look, see, the thing is, People keep calling him a coon and this, that. I want to bring up Umar Johnson. Umar Johnson puts himself up to be, I mean, this man of dignity. Broner don't. Broner's are open, but Broner don't try and tell us that he's good, he's righteous and conscious. You know, he is who he is. That's right. He is who he is. And and, 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 and to be honest with you, real people can recognize that. The only problem with people like, is that they can't get at Floyd's so and they go hate on Broner. Yeah, they, yeah. That's what it is. Because when they saw Broner win, then yeah, he go, yeah, Marcus Madonna's going to do that. That's why Floyd went in there and took him out, man. Well, kind of took him out. Yeah. Well, beat him. I didn't say he beat him. So, end of the day, you know, they can't get Floyd. And whether they like it or not, they can just get out of Broner. But, you know, Broner, whether you like it or not, like, even if he loses this fight, depending on how he loses this fight, it's a great fight for the fans. And we're going to get a treat. Come somewhere in a couple of hours, we're going to get a treat, for real. Broner's entertaining as well, man. He's just like, you know, like, he winds people up. He winds people. You th- who thinks he went too far? With Porter's dad. Well, uh, go ahead, Chris. You they go both been, they both been talking, they both been talking jazz. So that's part of the game. You say something, somebody gonna say something back. In, in my opinion, Porter's dad. You know, when it comes to talking jive, yeah, Porter's dad be talking a lot of jive, saying about his um child support, and I think that thing's kind of rough, and brother, he has to pay child support. You know, after he, he basically he's saying A B stands for absolutely broke. You know what I mean? And AB, AB means at, um, about that billion. So he's like, all right. You, so you're talking like you're a kid. So Broner came at him. Broner didn't even come for poor. He came in there looking for the dad, bro. Yeah. And you know what? You could take it like, oh, he's out of water cussing the dad. But take it like this. His dad's dissing him. And he's like, okay, we're in the fight game. And this guy's dissing me. Took on my child support. So Broner went in there talking about his financials. Said, we saw it at the bank. He dresses like um, Sean Porter's dad, Kenny, dresses better than Sean. And he's over there. <laughs> funny, that, that, yeah. Yeah, he's over there. He's over there, gets the check and, and pays Sean the check he gets. It's like, that's, it was real funny. But you see, the thing is, yeah, if I don't know if Broner would have did that. Because, you know, before the they had press conferences before, Broner never said a word. But when he heard, start hearing all the, all the online stuff, what Kenny's been saying, hey, man, it's, it's fair game. And, you know, Kenny's a Christian. Yeah. A Christian guy. 
and stuff like that. You know, I I, I, I ain't going to be judging no one about no Christianity or no religion and stuff like that. But the way I see it, if you be putting yourself in that predicament, the young guy, the young man has a right to say it back. People are like, oh, he shouldn't be saying that. Well, maybe Kenny shouldn't be saying the stuff he's saying, regardless if it's true or not. But this is what it is. But they've built the fight up. It's very interesting. We're going to see what's happening. Yep. I'm not judging no one. I agree. Like, you know, look, you can say he shouldn't have said whatever about his dad. But Kenny brought up the old film where Brona saying he idolizes Sean. He came out saying that Brona quit in the sparring. And yeah. like, you know, he, they haven't been innocent. Like, they've been more passive aggressive because they've got the Christianity thing going. So, yeah. but they, they've been, you know, they've been, they've been talking a bit of smack themselves, man. So, I, and, and to me, it's all fair game to a degree. It's a fight. You know what I mean? So if he feels that he has to say what he has to say to get back at them, you know, on respect, okay, can we on get a, a prediction? On a, now, one minute, on a respect thing, if you were talking about someone, if this is normal situations and someone was talking to your dad, like, let's, let's, let's talk about, if I, someone was attacking my dad, I'll get, boy, I, that's, oh, that will get me flamed up, boy. but I guess Sean's used to his dad talking that step, he's talking that step, but to anyone else, he would get them upright, you know what I'm trying to say? He was going in on his dad, man, and say, like, Broner was just doing what he was doing because they were attacking him, and I think, you know, like you said, it's fair game. Yeah, prediction. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, but she, I'm, before I get into my prediction, Sean was acting like kind of like Danny Garcia was just letting his dad talk in the own um, joint. Yeah, that's what. But that's what he is. That's what. That's what. Yeah, he is. but um, my prediction, my prediction, I don't think he's gonna be wagering. I think um, Sean Porter gonna beat up on um Broner. Yeah, go ahead. I, me, I, I got, I got Broner winning the fight. I think the A side dictated on the weight. They dictate on the they dictated on the gloves and they dictated on the certain things to get the favoritism. Now whether it pays off is another thing. We will see. But for me, I I, I like Broner's skills. He's he, to me he's more versatile. I understand Sean has all these other accomplishments, but he's fighting at this weight, Kate. He hasn't been this weight. When's the last time he's been this weight? Beast? It's about two years. He ain't been this weight. Yeah, at least two, two years. years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. And then regardless, yeah, let's 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 think about this year. When Koto went against and I need to turn my TV down one minute. When Koto went against Daniel Gill, right? Daniel Gill had never faced four of that weight before. And Daniel was saying, I'm all right, I'm fine at the weight, and this, that, the other. Everyone could see that. Well, I wonder if the weight can affect him. And it did affect him. It did affect That's him. That's not when, true. Like, he fought light middleweight in his career. Okay. It, but, but he won at that weight for years before, though, wasn't it? No, is it wasn't for years yet, admittedly. Yeah, that's what. Well, okay then. Oh, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, and this is my point: is for years he hasn't been down that way, and and how effective was Sean Porter in the way? He was. He was just another guy in in the, in, the, in, the, in the cards. But as soon as he came up to a higher weight, this guy, you know, he beat up Devin Alexander. He was the first guy to stop Paulie. So I like way you can we can category say that at, at 47 he's bloody strong. He's very strong. Mm. But at lower weights, when he was fighting at the weights, you can see that he's not as powerful. Now, Broner, on the other hand, at these lower weights, at these lower weights, he's very powerful. You know, he's very, very powerful. You know, he has he has power at that weight. And Beast, you put it out, he looked very strong. So yeah. my my point is, in me, I'm, I mean, I'm, not, I'm just going to pull it out there. I think he's got more skills as Broner. I think he can, I think he'll be able to do something at that weight. But I tell you what, man, if you got to do all these things, make a guy come in smaller and all these things, it shows that, you know, it shows you're doing these things to make things balanced up. So I guess you could say he's not scared, but we have to fight. But I think I'm just going to pick Broner. That's all I'm going to say. I'm picking Broner. Yeah, well, you know, I've got, I've got, you know, like Broner said that um, he eats steaks every day and uh, he doesn't, he makes the way easy. He doesn't <laughs> drink water and granola bars. But, you know, I think Porter's going to serve him the Porter House steak, and it might be too much for him. I've got Porter winning, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Me too. Yeah, I've got the Porter House steak, man, winning the fight. What you got? Yeah. What you guys got? Like, I got like, either way, have you guys got getting a distance? We got to stop here. What are we saying? I got Mike Stafford throwing in the tub by the ninth round. Oh, man, that's some bullshit right there. So, Broner never quit against, uh, against, uh, Against Angel Mandana, man. Whether people like it or not. I've got a distance fight. I've got a distance. I've got distance. I've got, ain't getting no stop, man. But yeah, I, I, hey, man. If it happens, it happens. I'll be sitting there freaking like shock with everyone yeah, else. He like, talked that shit to his daddy. I'm going to stop his ass. <laughs> 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 nah, nah. Hey, that's the thing. Hey, going back to the daddy thing. This is what I'm trying to say to you. The daddy was so adamant about, we need to go and stop this fool, man. This dude be dissing each other da, 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 in the corner. For this, Br Broner got them out of sync where and Broner's came in and we calm, we collective. Broner's just going to put on a boxing exhibition. Just jab him. That lady uh, interviewed yeah. them. Watch McCarty. Uh, not to cut you off. That lady um, 
interviewed Porter, and Porter said he's gonna be. He ain't say it like nasty, like, but he said he's gonna beat um Broner up. Yeah, we. Yeah, he's just gonna. He's just gonna try and outbox him. Look, man, it's the blueprints there to beat Porter. Just, just box him and then tie him up. Yeah, tie him up, tie him up. Yeah, but is he is he strong as Kell Brook though to do this? That, you know, you don't need to be this 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 pick your pick your spots to tie him up, and that frustrates him. And when he and when he hits behind the head, Broner makes a big deal of it because yeah. Porter. What what would we want to say about Porter? Is that when you tie him up, he don't know what to do. He starts acting like like the American football player. What's thing he's trying to say here? Where he starts using his head, hitting behind the back of the head, and that's what he was doing. That's what he you know he was doing these tactics. Yeah. If he thought if he Lippman, now let me tell you something, bro. Broner's the A side. You can't do them tactics in Vegas, hitting the man behind the back of the head. You can't do that. So now well, what's Paul going to do? Paul's going to have to wait for the referee to come to break. Broner's going to go back to the jab, hitting the pit in the stomach, hitting the hooks, tie him up again. And this thing, whether they, if they plan for it, we'll see. So that's the game plan. But you know Paul's going to come in wait, wailing like a dervish, like what he did against um, <laughs> yeah, 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 the Yeah, Paul. Like when he gets when gets poorly, like yeah. when he wailing like that bro like shit. like like a madman like someone yeah. <laughs> like it for days yeah, if, if he fights that way against um thing because look like brono's got at that weight brono's got power so you can't come wailing and like they what what i'm trying to say is that they're underestimating and now this is true right this is true they're underestimating that brono can't hurt them yes they, everyone everyone's got to agree on that fact right yes, is this yes, true right yes yes now what if he can hurt them now you're in trouble, right? Now you know you're gonna start feeling something, bro. That's the problem right here. If he can, if he starts hurting, you're not saying this say he's a big, but we're trying to say if Broner can hurt you, you're gonna think twice about whirling in. All right, so that's the, you know this 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 is why they brought him down. That's why they brought him down to this weight. It's been you did well, the, the, he gonna land on his, he's gonna land on his A side tomorrow night. Nah, but the Broner <laughs> brain the, the Broner brain trust the Broner brain trust yeah I thought this out but this is what I'm saying they might come a cropper in this one you know they come a cropper in this one they could do we'll see we'll see man we'll see we'll see I'm looking forward to this fight a whole leap though man I'm looking forward to yeah, it yeah this is good it's gonna be some action though yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Everyone, yeah man look look man PBC I guess the good thing about it you don't have to wait long boy as soon as they, they come down the thing the, 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 all the uncharted is cleared out the referee comes in the ring announced they're on quick we don't have to wait yeah, long yeah. Yeah. He got a roster of over 200 fighters. That's why he's putting on these all these PBC events. PB, yeah, I, PBC I, I, can't go wrong right now because they, you, know, you, know, like, you see, they you they've got a YouTube channel. They even post up fights on there now. Yeah, of course, I've got all of them. I've got all of them in a playlist. I got every single one of them in my playlist. Yeah, every one of them in my playlist, and the quality is good. The American commentary, yep. real good stuff. And apparently, have you heard about the new news? Apparently, um. Golden Boy's contract will not be renewed, and Al Heyman will be taking the contract for Fox. Yes, that, that's oh. that's the big news. Delahoy is out. This wow. was a, that's what I was Delahoy. That's what I felt like Delahoy was probably thinking about coming back. He's out. Like, he, what's he gonna do with all these fights he's got? Where is he gonna promote? He's for Al Heyman is took you know, over. Um, you no, know, he got that um fight. He got that fight tonight. The uh, end, um, and 